our Airbnb and we are walking to the beach. What do you guys think so far? Oh my god, it's beautiful. Jerry, what do you think? So I love it so much and I think it's crazy because each city has its pros and I think you should honestly go to each country. Yeah. Gosh, each city for different reasons. Agreed. So when we went to Rome and Venice, we loved both of them, um, but neither of them were like chill beach water. Lido. Okay. So we did go to Lido. So honestly, if you are thinking about traveling to Italy, highly recommend Lido being on your radar. So I think you should go for Rome for a couple of days, and then go to Venice. For yeah. A couple of days. Agreed. Then go to Lido. For yeah. A couple of days. Yeah. Then go to Santorini. Yeah. But then Lido had the beach. It was very calm. Um, there were roads where Venice did literally had no roads. And Lido was just very, oh my, it was beautiful. Um, so now we're on Santorini. Santorini is very calm. Very, very calm. And literally, look at the beach right now. It's literally rock. I don't know if you can see that. Like it's rock. Literally, no sand. None. It's just rock. But we love it. So black sands in Santorini. And how how hot is it today? It's only like it's literally only 76 and we are like doing so yeah. well. Alright, Jerry, we're going snorkeling. We got these big old thingies. You ready? Yep. Born. We've never snorkeled just like randomly without like a guide or anything, so. We shall see, there's a big old mountain right there. This is where we're sitting. Alrighty, let's see what we can find. on my um, pinky toe. Wow, you got summer. Yeah, I really did actually. Okay, Band-Aid on pinky toe. Okay, Emma, where did we just make it? Where are you at? Where did we make I it? No <laughs> Wait, cute, don't know what this is. But we're walking, oh my gosh, I got so burnt. Okay, where are we going, guys? Right here. Hello, friends. Jer, did you have a beautiful day today? Good. Okay. Where are we going? Is this it? Yeah. All right, we got wine for the table. Really We're in a little beautiful restaurant. Yeah. Ooh, it is windy. Holy we moly. I know. Jared got an espresso martini. All right, what restaurant are we at? I don't even know. I don't know, they serve the red wine with ice. I like it though, I like it too. F Oh, really good. Okay, cheers. Cheers. Okay, cool. Jared's not in the cheers. F Colostal. Oh, that's, thank you. I think it's awesome. It looks like those chicken, those ham things that we saw hanging at the airport. So today we had a full pool day. Um, oops. We are all getting about to get ready. I came out here to sit in the hot tub on our balcony. So here's the balcony. I wanna show you guys. So the ocean's right there. There's literally donkeys in that field. And they're so cute. And we will be getting ready. We are going to Fira for dinner. 
is going to be absolutely beautiful. Fira is where I've been before for my school trip. Um, so I'm excited to go back and see. So anyways, I'm going to be so sad to leave. This is my favorite place, definitely. So. Again, if you saw my first two videos, Rome and then Venice, we're still sitting here. We're just going to get it all done because I feel like if I keep putting off these videos, they're never going to get uploaded. And these videos deserve to be uploaded, not because of the quality or anything. Honestly, the quality's a little hit or miss, okay? But these are core memories that I am going to remember forever. So they have to be uploaded. So we're just going to get the talking out of the way. So Santorini. Top two places I've ever been in my life. Honestly, I feel like I can't really compare Greece and Italy because they are so different. Like Venice with the canals and the boats and the people and the, it's just so different. We're Santorini, you know, island, beautiful white, the most gorgeous sunsets ever in the whole entire world are in Santorini. Like God handpicks Santorini for the most beautiful sunsets. The beach was there and it's like black pebbly rock and it's so hot like the sand sand it's it's pebbles it's literally black pebbles so hot um but the water <laughs> freezing but it's okay you get used to it clear like super clear in the snorkeling video we didn't see a ton um of like fish or anything we learned that snorkeling is on the other side of santorini just because it's so um, like where we were is just very rocky. I mean, it's Santorini is a volcano. It was, it was a volcano. So there's lava, dried lava, dried lava, old lava, whatever, everywhere. So like not super fishy really. Um, but the water was super, super clear. Hopefully you can see in the video. 
what else did we do? Honestly, that beach day was so much fun. We met so many friends, ate, drank, enjoyed the sun. You don't even realize how much you're burning. It was wild because it really wasn't as hot there. So Santorini is much colder, not much colder. I, that seems dramatic. It was like low 70s, mid 70s, whereas Italy felt like it was 110 degrees. But you're like, oh, it feels so nice and refreshing now. And you put a little sunscreen on, you know? No, you get home. Oh, the sun is so direct, so direct. Um, so beach day was super fun. Oh, pool day at the Airbnb. I'll tag the Airbnb down here. If you are going to Santorini, you have to stay here. Close to the beach, easy drive up to Fira, like the picturesque that you see, that's Fira at the top. We were in, where were we? Insert beach name here, because I cannot think of it. it starts with a P, it's in the video. We were on the kind of other side of Santorini. It's a very tiny island, so you can you can drive. You can rent ATV scooters, super, super fun. Um, but honestly, having the pool and just like having the chill beach day, we bought some pizzas at the store next door. There's a convenience store. Um, we just bought food there, and it was great. Just laying out, just relaxing, because you can see the ocean from the back of that Airbnb, so yeah. It was a great, great trip. Want to go back already? It, Santorini was short too. By the end, we tried to switch our ferry and our flights to stay an extra day. But by the time we got everything switched, it was going to be so much more expensive and just, it would have been a lot. So we ended up having to leave, but the best part, most beautiful place, seriously. I don't understand how people live here every single day. Um, Oh my gosh, I'm holding my Santorini pen. The Airbnb gave us, is it gonna focus? Nope. Oh, see it? It's cute, whatever. The um, Santorini, oh my God. The Airbnb owners um, gave us all gifts and this was part of it, so sweet. Um, so yeah, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. So that was Santorini and now we are off to Athens.